Super strong through the early rounds for Northcliffe. Bowie Maddox Power, the sprint champion as well for Northcliffe. Peyton Williams, Liz Forsyth looking for her sixth consecutive title. She starts second from the ocean side. So Forsyth away quickly as expected here. Who's going to get a good run? Peyton Williams gets a good run. And Chloe Maddox Power goes through, unfortunately. Lucy Flanagan, Lucy I think Flanagan it might have been. So she's the under-19 champion from last year. And you can see just how hard it is to step up to the, to the open. She just le gets lift, left a little bit behind at the end and no more flags to grab. Probably going to call that a bad draw for her at the start there as well. Having Lucy... Oh, be tree late. Always big energy coming from the boys at Molly Mook. So a couple of narrow was there. We thought Jet Vanderwallen from Newport gone. We thought he would have been thereabouts, but we ones we love to watch. And then it's just a, it's more so the ritual that they do, which is Kenichi Wada from Japan. And then also his countrymen. Out there as well, Shogo Hori. Looking really, really strong, and the crowd loves the flavour, the international flair that comes through with it. We've got about 90 international athletes here, two of them in this final, so incredible to see them really chasing up, of course, their world championships. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the first run through for the Open Men's Beach Flakes. Up in Aileen of Bribey Island there as well. So notable admission there, you're saying, we've got no... No Sam Zustovich. Yeah, with some injury issues, but we are here at the top eight in Australia. Geez, Northcliffe Jason Goff, we've got to get early. One still open, who's going to the first one there? So and Jake Lynch leaves the fight another day from Newport. He does, so we know how hard it is to back up a podium from last year, and that is what he's trying to do here for the Newport Club. have been strong in this event so far. Really good reaction by one of our uh, Northcliffe, I think Jason Goff there. And you can see uh, it's national competitors still alive. So Lachlan Alene, I think it was, getting through eighth in the country. So, incredible effort there. And what a quality lineup we've got here in the Open Men's Beach Flag. So, our Open Women's lining up now. So we've had one out for them. And the, the slow, slow clap, clap again. That's I wonder who's starting this. Anglesey were really loud in the, uh, in the beach relays last night or down there at the track. So, really good to see the atmosphere and people are getting excited. It's getting towards the back end of Aussies. They realise it's all coming to... And in very shortly, it's finals time. It's time to see the most explosive surf sports athletes in the country. And two North Cronulla still in this one. Emily Rampoldi and Alex Rampoldi. We've seen twins do it before as well in the beach flags in the past as well. Uh, there was 1967, Graham Lawson beat his identical twin brother Greg to win the open beach sprint. And Where do you find this? Oh, it was an Aussie's fun facts page. We've got some more fun facts coming your way, everyone. Joe, don't you worry. We've got you covered here. So North Cronulla drawn second from the landward side, second from the ocean side. The one, it's Alex Rampoldi, who's been really impressive through the juniors. She won an open title when she was really early in her open career. Chloe Mannix Power, the beach sprint champion as well. Looking to back up from an incredible couple of weeks she had. The store gift champion as well. This Forsyth, as we said, looking for six in a row. Misery. So as we go here, really good start by Alex Rampoli. She set it up really well here. Liz Forsyth unscathed. Unfortunately, Northcliffe there. I think it'll be Chelsea Lane going out there. So not to be for Chelsea Lane. She looked really good earlier this afternoon, but unfortunately just runs out of room here. As you have a look at it again, you can see a gap opening in the middle. Peyton Williams judges it really well. She runs out of room. So one Northcliffe remaining there with Chloe Mannix Power looking to go double goal. So top eight left over for the males. So the life hates random draw again doing its random thing. We've got both of the boys from Japan next to each other. Shogo Hori. 
So Kai Thompson from Noosa Heads as well. Another one to watch. He's still live in the competition. He was six last year, the Queensland bronze medalist. Stephen Mapu from Northcliffe as well. Far side. Jason Goff from Northcliffe. Bo Anderson. Once again, Molly Mook have had such an incredible championship. So they just keep going from strength to strength, starting on the landward side here as well. Got so Kai Thompson, that Noosa cap, third from the left. He had a good run. A man from Newport as well. That's Jake Lynch, last one down here. He just lived to fight another day just before. So Molly will close to the screen. Newport there, Noosa next to them. And then our visitors from Japan. Just to that right hand edge. In the starter's hands, up and away early, a little stumble there, but who's going to live to fight another day? Oh, Kai Thompson gets a great run through all the way. The congestion on the ocean side too. So there you go. So one of our Northcliffe competitors just getting it there as well. So Mapu and Goff, our Northcliffe representatives here. So how they had to really get on top of each other to get the most of it there. So not much to go here. So Morgan Foster from South Brighton. It's a, a massive farewell for him coming across the ditch. Morgan Foster, South Brighton. Top seven in Australia, nothing to be, I guess, overlooked, but that's an amazing effort. One his group at, at Masters on Monday. What a legend. There you go. We've seen a couple of the athletes do that as well. It's pretty impressive to still be at the pointy end of the competition, particularly when it's so deep. We're talking 60, around 60 athletes, I think, started in the competition. And we, as we said, we're down to eight now. So got to be on point for 40 run-throughs here. And that's what made Simon Harris's 11 titles even more impressive. So as we said, Liz For Forsyth here going for her sixth consecutive, trying to get a little bit closer to Mel Crockroft Wilson's incredible run of 10 championships of Australia in this event to North Cronulla ice either side of it here Emily Rampoldi who was good in the beach sprint earlier and Alex Rampoldi on the ocean side a previous winner Nate Williams the landward side Chloe Maddox power the beach sprint champion second for the left It's underway here, Forsyth again, good so far and as well. Abra Vanel has had a good oh. run and she only just got there ahead of Emily Rampoldi. So she lives to fight another day again. Let's have another look at this replay as we get up as well. So Rampoldi just had a little bit of work to do at the start. She was in two minds there. She was going to go for Forsyth's flag. Probably had a better chance of getting Abra Vanel's flag there but unfortunately not to be on that occasion but that's a great effort as well so North Cronulla have had a pretty good night so far and there's more to come here but Alex Rampoldi there hopes riding on her at the moment inside the top five for the Open Women's Australian Beach Flags Championship turn our attention back to the men's here again so furthest from the screen Jake Lynch there from Newport Jason Goff from Northcliffe Molly Mook's there as well. Bo Anderson. And then we've got our guests again from aboard. Shogo Ori and Kenichi Wada here next to each other. And then Noosa's Kai Thompson. This is that exciting that Nathan's going to have to leave us. You're very lucky plan. though because you've got Jenny Parry taking my place. So we're down to the business end of the opens here. So energy. The rain might be falling here at Malulabar, but the anticipation and the atmosphere is continuing to build. The two pinnacle events of the night. Now the slider's hands. It looks like there's last little bit of adjustments from our athletes there. So again, it's Kenichi Wada from Awajishima, and then also... And whilst we've got them in, it is a uh, 
Konnichiwa, or hello to you, Jen. Oh, Welcome. hello. I was uh, nervous just watching that. Uh, I've been tagged in now, and I feel like I have got the best seat in the house to come in right now at this stage. Six left in the Open Men's Flags Final Championship of Australia for 2024. Truly international. Two of our Japanese competitors, four of Australia's best flaggers left, and Harold, we're ready for a start. Yeah, we, uh, Brenda started hands a little while now. Jake Lynch on the far side, the yellow cap with the two maroon stripes from Newport has been a steel man down there, focused in the start of hands, up and away early. And wow, left-hand side, Molly Mork, one's going to dive, and it looks like Jason Goff there is just going to edge out Kai Thompson. It was two to one, and he's just missed out. But the two Japanese competitors starting really low, but I love that turn from Bo Anderson from Molly Mook. Strong, fast, and through. Jake Lynch was lucky to get through that last round, or the first round, as soon as we got to the finals, the top eight. And then just snuck through on that one. But now he's in the rhythm. He's looking strong. He's looking fast. And it doesn't matter if you just sneak through. You just need to get a flag at the end of the field. And it looks like it's getting a little bit miserable down there under lights. But, Harold, this is what we want to see. We want to celebrate our beaches. They are the best at what they do. And if anything, maybe a faster track slightly with a little bit of uh, rain to dampen things down. Yeah, a little bit faster. But, obviously, the, the wetter we are, it just everything is a little bit more sticky. And most of these uh, athletes would, would used to be training in you know the warmer, drier conditions. But speaking of conditions, would it be similar to that of the uh, Baritsu Vitaj Cortez athletes? whose name I can't say very well. <laughs> Anna Abravano. So wonderful to see her here and wonderful that we've got uh, so many of our friends joining us here on Facebook with the World Championships just a few months away and such an international contingent in action today. This is what we're expecting. We are loving having them here and they are mixing it with the best. She's got a good lane here next to Rampoldi from North Cronulla, EJ Forsyth, just fixing her cap now. I am impressed. Chloe Maddox Power still in the mix here. I know I shouldn't be. She's incredible at what she does, but to see her... Right there, next to AJ, this is a fast field. So the, the first two up so far that I've liked have both been in the quarter cap of the red and the green and the green and the white. So that's Forsyth and Abravanabel making their way through. They're up the first two, but then it's that top end speed. Maddox Power trying to get through the outside. Peyton Williams just going about her business quietly for Molly Mook. Aspirations of medals. And the first two are up early. Just trying to get, find something, anything. Maddox Power over the top. Has she grabbed it? No, she hasn't. So Alex Rampoldi sneaking underneath. And this is where we see it. Chloe Manix Power just a tiny bit slower there. EJ comes across as well. And unfortunately, no flags left there. Our French competitor, very clear. Molly Mook still in as well. Peyton Williams fights another day. And uh, talking earlier about the quality of the field here, the international field we have assembled. I was having a chat earlier today to uh, Stephen Munners. Or should I should say Stephen Munnery. We know him as Munners. One of Australia's best beach competitors back in the day. Made a few Aussie teams with him as well. He's actually watching all the way from over in Dubai. He's established the Vikings uh, over that way. They have got an incredible program and they are coming to the World Championships. He said, I've been watching the live stream. We're so excited. They're going to be part of this exciting atmosphere in just a few months' time. World Championships. Steve Munners, love what you're doing over in Dubai you and the Vikings team, we cannot wait to watch you fly. It's about building that surf life yes. saving fraternity, isn't it? And then it starts with Worlds and then the Olympics 2032, which we spoke at nauseam about, but that's how excited we are about it, Jen. And when we talk about getting excited, Saturday night under lights, finals time. This is our open men and our open women, both down to the final five. Got Bo Anderson closest to us, Jake Lynch. I cannot believe Jake is still here. I feel like he has been racing at the top level for a solid 10, 15 years already. He knows what it's like to win Aussies. He has been here. He's done it before. I'm impressed he's here. I'll tell you what, it was Newport who took the win uh, last year as well, but it was Blake Drysdale, his teammate, uh, and it was Blake and Jake, the two from uh, that crew. Incredible racing. Lining up for the start. The uh, officials doing a great job. Keeping everyone ready. Final five in the starters' hands. Northcliffe through the middle. Newport tucked in on the left. Up and away, clean. Oh, just that top end speed. A big dive there, a loss. Flag down there. Northcliffe's going to get through. And this is what we love to see, the sportsmanship. Oof. 
And now we get the replay. I love that it comes through so quickly. Have a look at how quick our competitor from Awajishima is. He's down low. Unfortunately, Northcliffe in along. They can tussle for the flag. And straight away, we're back to the ladies. Too good, too strong. And it's getting nervous down there. We can see uh, all our competitors getting a little damp in the background, but no one is giving up that good spot on the uh, on the barriers there. We can hear the atmosphere in the background down there as well. It's been a big three nights of competition down there at Malulaba. We started off with the sprints, the uh, relay yesterday, the flags tonight, but this is the first time I've heard the, heard the uh, slow clap come through. And the crowd is building. They've been there. And these guys have been in the rain for some some time now. Not only the athletes, but everyone watching. Top four. Next one is then out of the medals. It's always tough. Uh, the good news, though, for the Aussie girls, if our uh, competitor from Biarritz Sabotage Cotier misses out, one of the Aussie girls will still get a medal because we have an if we have an international competitor on the podium, we do award a uh, gold medal to the Australian in that position as well. And Harold, this is where I get nervous. I feel like we need to be uh, quiet up here in commentary as well, giving the girls the space, the time, the respect that they deserve. They are so good at what they do, ready for a start. And this is one of the only sports that you can actually leave this start hanging. The silence of the crowd is deafening. And then the call there from the EJ up early, but wow, Ram Poldy getting up there early. And Peyton Williams just missing out the Getty box out. And that was easily Alex Ram Poldy's best turn of the night. She was flying through there. Peyton Williams from Molly Mook, unfortunately, just misses out. And Anna Abravanel from Baritz Supertage Cotier is through. But EJ. So two away, two away from number six. EJ, the current world champion as well for the beach flags. She was incredible for the Australian team. She's been an absolute incredible force, an unstoppable force in the Australian team for quite some time. She wears uh, green and gold for Australia. She wears uh, green and white for Corumban. And we're loving this international flavour. The boys just making their last preparations down here at the water's edge. And the officials, geez, they put in a few big days on the beach as well. But uh, we're about to reach the pinnacle. We're about to uh, culminate our big racing here. No one is moving from where they are in Harold. This is such a treat. We've had uh, eight big days of competition here at the Australian Championships. 8,000 competitors in action across Maroolaba, Maroochydore, Alex, and Coolum Beach for the board riding. Coolum. I, I hope to visit that place very, very shortly. Yep, I, I highly recommend a trip out to Coolum. All the board riding was done up that way. Great bakery. Make sure you check it out as well. And I feel like we're taking a touch longer on our preparations each time the boys get ready for a start down here. And do you know what? They're allowed to take a little bit of extra time because these are the runs that matter. These are the turns that matter. And, Harold, the fatigue must be setting in as well as, as, well as the nerves. Oh, there'd be a little bit there. But the excitement there, our last international competitor in the male field, Shogo Hori from Katsura Life Saving Club in Japan, with the Aqua and Red Cap next to Newport. BMD Northcliffe on the outside right, Molly Mook closest to screen, now in the starter's hands. And they're up and away early through the middle. Jake Lynch is building nicely here, and then it looks like it's going to be the Molly Mook cap of Bo Anderson is now done for these Aussie titles, but one international competitor can still go home with a medal, but Jake Lynch is building strong and fast Northcliffe there through the middle. You think Jake Lynch is building? I think Shogu Hori is building from Katsura in Japan. Very, very quick. Katsura, wonderful to uh, have their club cap represented. That is the red and blue quartered cap. Shogu Hori, an incredible job for the Japanese team here, but we are down. To only a few competitors. This is where we get tight. These girls all know that they have a medal. We're just about to determine what colour it will be. And just before the girls go down, I just want to talk about Jason Goff from Northcliffe there. He looks strong. He looks focused just as he, as he made his way back under the tent. A little sip of water brushing off. But here we are. Top three in Australia. Three medals left, Jim. We get excited for this. Two Australians, one of our beautiful international guests joining us on the sand under lights at the Lulabar. It does not get any bigger, better or faster than this. Yeah, this feels like a real moment for all of our competitors. And you can hear uh, Ralph Devlin in the background there. Richard Orr, life governor, he has been at the beach. You can uh, not escape him. We hear him everywhere we go. He and our incredible officials are commenting.
Kate is doing a great job down there. The crowd is loving this as they should. You only get a few opportunities as an athlete in your career to have a, a big race like this under pressure on the big stage. Now EJ Forsyth, she has won this six times in a row. Had that big win last year in the Cauldron, the amphitheater that we have down at Scarborough Beach. Rampoldi on her right. It's going to be a big challenge. Here we go. And the big breath before they go down. The girls are clear. EJ Forsyth looking good. She crosses it over. And it looks to be an all Aussie final. It's going to be an Aussie one, two. EJ Forsyth is through. Rampoldi is through. And a huge congratulations. A huge thank you for visiting as well from Beer at Sabotage Cotier. Anna Abravo Nil. Yep, Anna, an incredible job. I do hope that she's got a huge crowd of supporters watching on the live stream as well. They must be so proud of her results here at the Australian Championships. That is a trip worthwhile. We do hope that she's here for the World Championships and we wish her luck in her selection for the French national team as well. well. She's got two more supporters than you and I, Jen. Oh, Unbelievable 100%. scenes. Vote one, Anna. And here we go. We're down to the gold medal race in the women, and we are about to decide, about to see if we can keep one more international competitor in the mix here. Shoguhori, Shoguhori from Katsura in Japan. Now he is in the middle. This is what uh, this is what Tai Taidaka would call the squeeze box. This is where it gets messy. Will the Aussies be uh, coming in to uh, squeeze him out, or will there be a strategic decision that he makes? Hard left, hard right. There are no good options. There are no easy options at this level of a flags final. For Aussies, Harold, this one's all yours. Yeah, Jason Goff on the outside for BMD Northcliffe, which is the maroon star on the white cap. He's the furthest away from screen. Chogu Ori from Katsura in Japan. I love the prep. I love seeing the visualization. I love seeing the run-throughs. And then last one down, as always, Jake Lynch. Last little bits of his meticulous. Oh, it's worth it. Look how good that sand looks. Nice and compacted, nice and hard there. Here we go, the boys are ready. And he's done this for years and years and years. He loves the bright lights, he likes the big stage. He loves the competition. He'll be looking for all the strength, all the force, all the power in the starter's hands. Three into two. And they're up and away early, off oh, through the middle. But on the outside, one's gonna have to go on the dive and there's a, no way, are you? Kidding me, Chogu Hori from Katsura Life Saving Club in Japan makes his way through to the top two. Jake Lynch from Newport's going to go home with that bronze model. We're down to two on the outside. Jason Goff from Northcliffe, a little bit slow at the blocks, but he's had a free run because it was the two on the left, Newport and, and this Katsura. Is where they lost the flag. Out. They lost the flag. He had to grab it on the second bounce there. You rarely see that. These boys do not make a mistake. They draw the paddle pop. I love that we are still on the paddle pop system here at Aussies. We might have live heats, but I have eaten enough paddle pops to get us through quite a few rags. Quite a I know few what runs you're trying to You've yeah, just finished one now. Yep. So Alex Rampoldi, what a unique opportunity she has right now. She could put her name up in lights. She can spoil the party. Queensland versus New South Wales. North Cronulla versus Corumbin. And these girls have done many, many rounds of flags against each other. And we're not just talking about this championships. We're not just talking about this season. Both girls so incredibly accomplished at what they do. EJ, the final bit of gardening here. Our world champ, our defending Aussie champ. Psyching up. One more big run. Last one for the season. Here we go. It all comes down to this. The clash of the Titans. The, again, the rivalry. North Cronulla versus Corumban. Everything needs to be perfect. EJ Forsyth has done this many, many times, but Alex Rampoldi looks like a, a picture of stillness, the pressure. I do love the difference between our competitors here, and uh, this is where we talk about the characters of life saving. Jake Lynch took a while to do his gardening, EJ making sure everything's right as well. She always does the little, the little kicks out the back here, but Rampoldi is serene and focused. This is her office. She knows what to do. She is ready for a flag. And we're up and away. Four sides up early. Red Polly trying to get that left shoulder in front, but it's not going to be enough because come on is the call from Elizabeth Forsyth, Corumban Viking, doing it once more. You are supreme. You are the best in Australia once more. Number six, Jenny Parry. Look at this. She was up early. Red Polly was there about, but you need that top end speed over that short distance. 
and EJ is getting it done as the crowd goes up. Oh, you love the passion. You love to see it. And I love already we're hearing the EJ chant in the background. Every Kurumbans, every Kurumban Vikings member is down on the beach right now. They took out the Lifesaver Relay in the water events at Maroochydore. They have just taken out, or EJ has just taken out, her sixth consecutive Open Beach Flags title. That is ridiculous. She is going down as one of the greatest of all time. And I think we're going to have a few more of those chats tomorrow. We love it. It's not just about the Iron Men and the Iron Women. Right now, in this arena, it is all about our flaggers and EJ, the undisputed champion. That's it. So now to the men, final two. Shogo Hori from Katsura Life Saving Club. Jason Goff from BMD Northcliffe. Let's talk about medal tallies. How many would Katsura Life Saving Club, how many Australian gold medals do they have? Zero. BMD Northcliffe, what's their total at? I, I don't even want to guess. 485,206 is where they're currently standing. Can they make that that 27 at the end? But it's going to be Shogo Hori from Katsura Life Saving Club in Japan in the red and the aqua blue. Last little bits of adjustment. Getting it ready. Jason Goff from Northcliffe, the local legend. And we are ready. I cannot believe that this is going to be the final flags turn of the Australian Championships. It's been a huge few days of competition across sprints, across relays, and the flags now. Harold, this one's all yours. Finish it off. Finish it strong. Northcliffe on the left, closest to screen. Katsura, that is Shogu Hori from Japan. The hush over the crowd. And we're away early. Gone. Hori up on there. Can it be done for Japan? The drive on the The claim, the international guests have done it. It's oh been precision, it's been power, it has been nothing but honour and respect. And you are taking back a gold medal to the Katsura Life Saving Club, Shogahori. I've got goosebumps, Jen. Look at this. They were up early together. Goff trying to get that edge on that inside, but Ori just getting that little right oh. shoulder blade in yes. front. Rolling over with the win in the 2024 Aussies Champs here on the Super Saturday Night. You've got to be kidding me, Jen. Oh, my gosh. What a way to finish Aussies with a win for our Japanese competitor, Shogu Hori from Katsura, Japan.